Welcome to CPCS Questions and Answers. The latest questions and answers for telescopic handler suspended loads A17, E, Theory Test, 2021, UK. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to support this channel. Question 1. Traveling in a forward direction with a suspended load which has a large surface area, even though within safe limits, can be hazardous for what three reasons? The answer is 1. Large loads can be affected more readily by wind. 2. The weight can be increased by rain. 3. The field of vision in front can be reduced. Question 2. If a load chart is not available for suspended loads or for the type of attachment, in what situations can the machine be used? The answer is Without the appropriate load chart for that specific attachment a telehandler should not be used for lifting suspended loads. Question 3 If fitting an approved attachment such as a lifting jib, what two ways can the machine's rated lift capacity be affected? The answer is 1. Hook height will differ. 2. Lifting capacity will be reduced by raised stabilizers. Question 4. A. What would be considered the main danger zone for a slinger, or signaler load handler when controlling a suspended load during pick and carry duties, and B. What could be a consequence if the slinger or signaler was within the zone during travel? The answer is. A. The main danger zone is in front of the telehandler. B. The slinger or signaler could easily trip and be crushed. Question 5. A. In what circumstances can the machine's boom be extended for pick and carry or traveling duties? And B. What must be taken into account if it needs to be extended? The answer is. A. When the manufacturer's information and the site allows. B. Load has to be kept as close to the ground as possible and the load must be clear of swinging into the vehicle chassis. Question 6. If the load inadvertently or accidentally catches the ground whilst traveling, what course of action should be taken? The answer is. Stop immediately and check load safety and reassess the movement plan. Question 7. List five factors that must be taken into account by the operator if a load is to be traveled across a site. The answer is 1. Encroaching unaware personnel. 2. Movement of vehicle and other plant in the area. 3. Encroaching with other lifting operations. 4. Road condition. 5. Environmental factor. Question 8. When picking up a suspended load, what constitutes the total weight that is to be lifted by the machine? The answer is. The load plus any attachments hooks plus slings used if are of significant weight. Question 9. In terms of visibility, turning to the right with a raised boom can be more hazardous for what reason? The answer is. The raised boom can obstruct right-hand visibility from the offset cab. Question 10. A. What is the purpose of a lift plan, and B. When would one be required? The answer is. A. To provide documentation regarding safe method of working on a particular task. B. During complex lift operations. Question 11. To minimize the risk of a sideways overturn, how should the boom be positioned when traveling with a suspended load? The answer is. The boom should not be raised more than necessary, keeping the load in between 300 mm and 600 mm from the ground. Question 12. Only two legs of a 4-ton and four-legged chain sling are being used. What is the maximum load that can be lifted with that sling? The answer is 2 ton. Question 13. Whilst being guided by a slinger or signaler, the operator loses sight of them. What should the operator do? 
The answer is. Stop the operation until visual contact is regained. Question 14. What three checks need to be made before any load is to be lowered into a trench or excavation? The answer is. 1. Check if the operation is authorized and permit in place. 2. Ensure that personnel have cleared the trench. 3. Ensure that enough distance from the trench edge is kept to prevent trench collapse. 4. Ensure slinger or signaler is visible. Question 15. What two ways can a load swing cause a telehandler to become unstable? The answer is. 1. Swing can move load further from the load center and exceed the machine rated capacity making it unstable, potentially causing it to tip forwards. 2. Swing can move the load so that the center of gravity moves beyond the footprint of the machine causing it to potentially tip over sideways. Question 16. As well as checking the rated capacity of the machine, and the lifting accessories for the load, the lifting capacity of what else must be checked? The answer is. Any hitched, coupless or carriage must be checked. Question 17. Traveling with extra long loads should be undertaken with a slinger for what reason? The answer is. The load can be tethered by the slinger in order to give more control over the load's movements. Question 18. Explain the effect that could happen when turning left or right with a suspended load, even gently. The answer is. Lateral load swing can occur giving rise to instability. Question 19. What checks need to be taken before a lifting accessory can be used? The answer is. 1. The accessory must be correct for the job. 2 must be certified and verified within the last 12 months for accessories that lift materials and within the last 6 months for accessories that lift personnel. 3. Must have the SWL marked and be correct for the task. Question 20. Why should the standard load chart for fork operations not be used for suspended load operations? The answer is. Because lateral and longitudinal weight shifts as well as the attachment weight alter the configuration. Question 21. Accessories or attachments for suspended loads must only be attached to manufacturer's approved lifting point. Explain three possible consequences if the recommendations are not followed. The answer is. 1. Load charts may not be relevant. Two. The load or the machine may become unstable. 3. The load may slip from the lifting point. Question 22. What is the recommended travel speed when traveling with a suspended load? The answer is. The speed should be limited to the requirements of the load and conditions. Question 23. A machine is equipped with a load chart that provides information relating only to static free on wheels duties. In what circumstance can pick and carry duties be undertaken? The answer is. Pick and carry duties can only be undertaken with the relevant load charts. Question 24. What three factors must be taken into account if a load is being lifted onto a platform with a set of lifting chains which are long in length? The answer is 1. Environmental factors such as wind can cause instability through swing. 2. The reach of the boom will have to be extended to cater for the length of the chain and the task may not be completed because of the extra boom length needed. 3. The extra reach could be within distance of the power lines. Question 25. Traveling with a suspended load on uneven ground or rough terrain may be hazardous for what reason? The answer is. Swinging loads can alter the center of gravity adversely. Question 26. Why must the telehandler operator ensure that the boom operating controls are isolated before the slinger attaches the load? The answer is. 
in order to prevent inadvertent or accidental boom movement which can lead to possible injury. Question 27. The safe working load SWL of a multi-leg chain sling only applies in what two conditions or configuration? The answer is 1. All legs are used. 2. All legs are equal. 3. All angles are equal. Question 28. Before undertaking any suspended load lifting duties, what two factors should the telehandler operator check with their supervisor before work starts? The answer is 1. Is it authorized? 2. Risk assessment done. 3. Lift plan in place, read, understand, sign all personnel involved in the lifting operation. Question 29. If the operator has to attach their own load, what should they ensure before leaving the cab of the machine? The answer is. Controls should be isolated and engines switched off and keys removed. Question 30. Using the given suspended loads lifting capacity diagrams for a telescopic handler. A. For stabilizer duties, what is the maximum lifting capacity when the carriage is at the second stage of extension and the boom at angle of 10 degrees? B. For stabilizer duties, what is the maximum gradient allowed when lifting downhill on a slope? C. For free on wheels duties, what is the maximum gradient allowed when lifting uphill on a slope? D. For pick and carry duties, what is the maximum available hook height? E. What is the maximum travel speed when carrying a suspended load? F. What is the maximum gradient allowed when traveling downhill with a suspended load that is facing uphill? G. Explain why a load with dimensions of length 4 meter, width 4 meters, height 2.8 meters, using a set of four leg chains where the distance between the top of the load and the hook is 2.8 meters, cannot be carried out? The answer is A. 4,500 kilograms B. Loads lifted on downhill slopes can cause instability so the maximum gradient should be 0%. C. 15% D. Boom height, hook and equipment E walking pace f 15 percent g it exceeds the angle of chain swl note these should be the answers but the tester can change the lifting diagram we strongly recommend to understand logically the lifting charts or diagrams thank you for watching and good luck for your test please don't forget to like share, comment and subscribe to support this channel.